Hi, I'm Will Cabral, snowboard expert at Curated.com. I got a chance to ride the Capita DOA, the Defenders of Awesome. Just so you know, I'm not sponsored by any brands and all of our reviews are completely unbiased. Capita claims that this is really the sweet spot of a resort board. True twin, blended, radial side cut, rated at a five and a half flex out of 10. This board is really just fun going all over the resort. And don't forget, if you want help finding the right board, click the link in the description and we'll be happy to help you out. The DOA is playful. I think that's a really key kind of feeling with this board. You want to kind of pop off side hits or pop in and out of turns, maybe do some butters. This is not a stale board. You can definitely be very creative with it. It's really versatile all around. I mean, the, the DOA is, you know, one of the most sought out, one of the most talked about, awarded, you name it. It's a daily driver. It features the Resort V1 profile, which is camber. And then it goes to a little bit of flat and then reverse and then it has their wapow in the tip and the tail, which really allow it to work well in a variety of conditions. With that Resort V1 profile, it does hold a really solid edge once you get it up carving. There is a little bit of chatter at higher speeds. It's nothing that's not manageable, but it's something to be aware of. And as a result, if you get stuck into some chop or chunder, sometimes it can be a little sketchy slowing it down but in a straight line, this thing handles speed well. I would say on you know small to medium features, this board's gonna be great jumping. It is gonna release well on the takeoff if you're learning to spin. And at the same time with landings, it's gonna be stable. With that slightly softer flex though, I would say once you get into really, really big features, it will be a little chattery. You know, it really is gonna come onto you to you know kind of be landing pretty bolts. It doesn't have that level of responsiveness in my opinion but it's still gonna be fun and playful. You're gonna feel comfortable pretty much anywhere. I'd recommend this board to any rider from, I'd say low level intermediate up. This would be a great first board if you're really investing in, in riding all the way through advanced riders who are looking for a resort daily driver that they can just reach for pretty much every day. The only kind of people I wouldn't recommend this board to is you know someone that's really riding a ton of fresh snow, more of a free rider, or even someone that's a little bit more of an advanced technical rider that really wants to be forced to be on their game all the time, this board is definitely very forgiving. So snowboards work differently for different types of riders. If you need help finding your next perfect board, please reach out to either myself or one of my fellow curated experts and we'll be happy to help you out. And if you like this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you can see more awesome content from Curated.